everybody and welcome to our first Facebook Live and our topic today is how to establish credit. My name is Liz. My name is Demetrio. And I'm a customer service specialist here and I work with talking to your landlords monthly to verify your on-time monthly payments to send them over to TransUnion. And I am a customer service specialist. I work with all tenants and uh, landlords uh, to confirm rental details and to verify all, uh, all the information provided to us. I also answer all questions. Uh, I'm in at 8 a.m. in the morning, so feel free to chat me anytime as well. You can use the hashtag credit, um, boost credit to be active on our Twitter feed and also Facebook. Um, today we're going to talk about how to establish credit and we're going to discuss what is credit, what are the credit factors, how to establish it, and how we as rent reporters can help establish your credit. Great. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, what exactly is credit. Uh, to keep it simple, credit is basically your billboard to everyone on how responsible you are financially. Um, it's a pretty important thing to, to worry about in your life. And uh, yeah, let's take it. Go ahead. So we're going to talk about the credit factors. Here we have a pie chart that represents how your credit is, how your credit score is generated. So 35% of your credit score is actually payment history. 30% is the amount owed. 15% is your length of credit, 10% is account mixture, and another 10% is your inquiries. So we have these things called secure credit cards. So what a secure credit card is, is that's a great way to begin to establish credit. What it is, is you can secure the amount that you borrow with a security deposit. And what that means is the amount that you deposit into a secure credit card becomes your credit line, becomes your credit limit. Another great way to establish credit is uh, opening a credit card. Uh, it's very important to have uh, credit cards open on your account. Um, they're a great way to build credit and a great way to establish credit. Um, you know, a credit card is basically a maximum amount given to you or, or uh, loaned to you. And to make sure you only use a, a certain amount of credit every month, um, I must note that it is important to use at least a, a, a minimum uh, 30, excuse me, at maximum, 30% uh, of your credit. Um, if you use, uh, if you have a thousand dollar credit card, use 300 a month and make sure you don't you go over that. If you do go over that, try to pay it off as soon as possible. If you cannot pay it off, use uh, the least amount, of, or pay, excuse me, pay uh, at least some of the amount to make sure you have some revolving credit. Go ahead, Liz. And another thing to note about credit cards is that credit cards require an interest rate. And we're going to get all into that topic in the next segment. But I also want to talk about service credit. So what service credit is, is it's all your gym memberships, your cell phone bill, your cable bill, any utility bill that you have. And it, may, it does not impact your credit score directly, in fact, indirectly. If you do pay these payments, if you do not pay them on time, one thing that happens is you can go to collections and it can negatively impact your credit score. So another way to establish credit is to open installment type of credit. Uh, that would be a credit, a credit a builder loan, um, a car loan, a mortgage, um, and one of the most important uh, kinds of uh, building credit that is revolving credit, uh, excuse me, installment credit, would be rent reporters. Um, yeah, take it Pause for just one second. We're going to switch the video around because our image on the back of the screen is reversed. So we want everybody to be able to see everything properly. Second. There we go. Starting over? No, no, here. just keep going. Just keep on going. Okay, go ahead, guys. Let's go ahead and take it over. Okay, so we're going to talk about good habits and tips and tricks to once you have your established credit. One important thing, as you know, is to pay your, on, your payments on time. Having late payments is going to negatively impact your score. Another important uh, good habit to have is low utilization. So like my previous example, if you have a credit card with a $1,000 limit, try to only use $300 a month. Uh, make sure that you uh, don't go over that amount because uh, then you're, you're pushing utilization over 30%. Um, it is recommended to have it between 10 to 20 to 30, uh, 10 to 30. Um, if you go over that, again, um, try to get it lower as possible and pay your bill, uh, your, your, the total amount every month. Do not let revolving uh, credit go through to the next month. Uh, it is important, very important, to try to keep that balance at zero or as low as possible. Please. 
And another thing that you want to do is avoid opening too many accounts. If you're trying to open up a credit card, and let's say I go to Nordstrom and I try to apply for a credit card, however, I get denied, then I shouldn't try to go to Macy's or any other vendor to try to open up a credit card because the chances are if I didn't qualify at Nordstrom, I may not qualify at another store. So avoid opening too many accounts. So let's say I, at some point, I do get approved for a credit card, then I wanna make sure that I don't try to open another line of credit for another six months and avoid opening too many at one time. So if I do get approved, doesn't mean that I should go out to all of my favorite retail stores and try to open up 10 credit cards at one time. I couldn't agree more. I myself have been uh, have made the mistake of opening too many credit lines, so don't do that. Uh, like she said, try to keep it a one, try to keep your hard inquiries, hard pulls to a total of two, maybe three at most at all times. But I, I digress. Anyways, um, so another thing to do for uh, to keep uh, to have excuse me for good tip, uh, for good habits uh, would be uh, check your report for discrepancies. Um, to see if there's any unfamiliar marks on there, anything that looks off, maybe the, uh, a charge that you never charged, uh, a credit card that you've never heard of. Uh, watch, uh, keep a good eye on your report and make sure you don't see anything that looks off because if it does look off, um, if, it, if you see anything you don't recognize, that might end up really harming your credit score. And another thing is keep accounts open. Like we talk about in our credit factors is Age of credit is a huge factor into your credit score. So that first credit card that you have may not be ideal because maybe you didn't get the credit limit that you wanted. My turn. So uh, last point we want to make here is make sure, or at least try, uh, to start young when you're building your credit. Um, if you're 18 years old, 19 years old, try to get one credit card and just one. Use it every month. Pay it off every month. Uh, try not to keep, uh, keep a high balance on it because that will end up uh, making it more complicated for you in the future. Um, you know, you can get a secure credit card, maybe co-sign on a loan with your parents or a family member, which they are the, they are the people that are most likely to co-sign with you. Um, keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to transition into how rent reporters can help you. Um, one of the most important things that I want to mention here before we get into that is we do not require pre-approval. You can just sign up and be a member. And uh, also, but we do require you to be a renter. So just make sure you are renting uh, at an apartment or a house. Just be a renter. That's and Rent Reporters helps with two major aspects of your credit report. And they are actually the two biggest aspects of your credit report. And that is that 35% payment history. We can actually report two years of previous rent history and apply that live to your credit report. And the other thing that we can do is we can... Um, impact your age of credit. So for instance, if Demetrio started renting 10 years ago, I can actually report back two years for him and we can affect his age of credit by having the start date reflect his move-in date, which would be 2007. Mm -hmm. So now we have age of credit applied and we have two years of payment history, along with any ongoing payments that we're going to continue to make for you. Along with what Liz just said, it is very important to diversify your credit report. Um, having our trade line on your credit report is having a different type of account on there. Um, it's an installment uh, credit line, or credit or trade line, excuse me. So uh, that is why it's a very big positive impact. Uh, so like I said, diversify your credit report. Ha try to have a credit card on there and us on there. Now, just like that, you have two types of credit accounts on your credit report. Liz? And I can vouch for the frustration in building your credit. It can take up to years to build good credit. And that can happen with, a, let's say I'm, I get a credit card. It's gonna take years for me to establish my credit using a credit card. However, by signing up with Brent Reporters, our service takes about two to three weeks to see that live on your report. So instead of that impatient line that we all have, I mean, we're all in for that instant gratification. In those two weeks, we can see that live credit report um, on there and we're gonna see a boost in your credit score. So uh, to keep it, to just give you a quick summary, um, if you sign up with Rent Reporters, you get 24 months of rental payments, you get a two-year-old trade line onto your credit report, and we boost your credit score. Three big positives to remember when you sign up with Rent Reporters. Personally speaking, it improved my age of, uh, my age of his, uh, credit history, my payment history, 
And uh, well, it did improve my score as well, but it depends for everyone what it could be. Um, Liz, do you have any comments you wanted to say? I do. I wanted to go into our illustrations here really quickly and talk about what we quickly earlier talked about secure credit cards. So let's say it's that old phrase, you need credit to build credit, but you can't build credit without credit. So you're, you may struggle to try to get a credit card. Like I said, I go to Nordstrom and I get declined. However, I can go to my bank. So that's why we say start at an early young age. Try to open up a bank account and hope that that bank can offer you a secure credit card. And with that, you want to hope that you can establish a good enough relationship with that bank where they can hopefully open you up an actual credit card, which can then lead to different utility bills like your cable bill, your cell phone bill. You may not have to have a deposit anymore. So with better credit, you're not going to have to pay any of those fees. Now that you have that, it's a progressive movement up. Then maybe you can apply for a car on your own without a co-signer. Actually, people think that having a co-signer is going to help you, but it has little impact on your credit report. You're going to establish more credit on your own than being an authorized user or having a co-signer. Not that they don't help, there's just little impact in comparison to building it yourself. So let's say you then have a car and you pay it off in three to five years. And then you want to hope to, after establishing credit, a lot of our main goal is to eventually buy a home. So we can use the interest rate that we built along that sequential process to get a low interest rate on our mortgage or even be approved for a mortgage. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually right on this uh, pattern here. I'm, I'm on these three. This will be the last one for me, so hopefully that comes around soon. Um, unless we have any other anything else to cover here, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we are going to transition into our Q&A uh, phase here. Um, we're going to take live questions via Facebook and I believe tw Twitter as well. Using uh, the hashtag Credit Boost. So if you're on credit, uh, if you're on Twitter, feel free to use the hashtag Credit Boost and ask us any questions, or you can just comment live on our Facebook feed, and we'll be able to answer them. So we actually have Cynthia right here with us who's our director of customer happiness, and she's going to shout out any questions towards us that we can answer for you. All right. Okay, so Hello, everyone. All right. So we don't see any questions coming through just yet, but I'll be sure to. All right. Well, you know, since we, uh, we have a little downtime here, I, I do want to say that if, uh, if you do have any questions or concerns, uh, feel free to uh, reach us out via phone, uh, email, or a chat service on our website. Uh, it's really simple. You just click on chat, and you'll get either me, Liz, or one of our customer service specialists. Uh, and we start at 8, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, close at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, we can hang out for a little bit, too, if people are kind of thinking about their questions right now to post. Yeah. So we'll be on line for a few more minutes. Sounds here. good. No problem at all. As you can see, we have a, an illustrator in our office that did a great job. I believe her name, her name is Ileth. I want to give a shout-out to Ileth here. Uh, she did a great job on her illustrations. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty nice. I like this car. It's great. It's great. Yeah, I'm trying to look to see if we missed any other major concepts that you guys had or any questions. Feel free. If something was vague or you want something to be better explained to you, just go ahead and comment and we'll be able to answer any questions that you have. I want to really, really emphasize again the importance of building your credit at a young age. I know one audience that we really want to capture, and, and that's us millennials. That would be our generation. And I know that at a young age, we may not, I know me at least five years ago, I wasn't thinking about buying a home or getting a car. It just wasn't as relevant in my life as hanging out with friends, going to college, having the fun that I wanted to have. It's not the first forefront thing in my mind. So now that I want to get closer to my main goal, which is to buy a home, or it doesn't even have to be to buy a home, having lower interest rates, then and that's actually an important concept because we're going to spend some time next week talking about interest rates and their role in your life. And you're going to be able to really see how a better credit score is going to impact your life because a higher, in, a higher interest rate is going to mean that you're going to pay more money over the long term. And we'll have some more examples to get through that next 
week. Great. So if you are a, my main tips for any young people is to get an, open a bank account, start establishing credit any way that you can. The main one is pay on time. <laughs> pay on time and begin great. to open them. So I think that's great. We actually did have a question just come through from great. Lawrence. And his question is, what is the advice you have to build good credit? Liz, I'll take over this one. Okay. Uh, quick tips to build advice uh, for good credit, uh, excuse me, to build credit um, would be, uh, like we just said, pay your bills on time. Uh, that is the most important one I want to stress here. Uh, pay your bills on time. Uh, make sure you have all your accounts current and active. Um, and you know, the, the best tip that I can give you, to be honest, is to sign up for Rent Reporters. I mean, like I just said, the three big factors you get when you sign up with our service, 24 months of on-time rental payments, two-year-old trade line, a credit boost. I cannot stress how important that is, especially since you're not getting hit with a hard pull slash hard inquiry. Um, Lawrence, please sign up for Rent Reporters. I'll help you out if you want. Any other questions coming in? Or? No. Okay. Well, I'll just... Well, I did want to stress that real, real quick. Um, no hard pull when you sign up with Rent Reporters, uh, which means you can still get your credit card and you're not going to have two hard pulls. You're just going to have your one for your credit card, and that's it. So think about that. Get, get Everything I just said will be added onto your report without a hard inquiry. That is very, very important. Um, I think one topic we could probably expand on is in this establishing credit, we really want to make the distinction between revolving credit and... Um, Installment credit. Installment credit. Yeah. And what we really are as rent reporters. So do you want to quickly go over what revolving credit is in more depth? Sure. Uh, revolving credit is basically uh, amount that you carry on a monthly basis, which would be a credit card, um, basically just a credit card. Uh, make sure that if you have revolving credit, you keep it at, at a low amount because if you keep stacking it onto the next month, before you know it, you're in $10,000 debt. So revolving credit, um, basically a balance that transfers from month to month. Keep it as low as possible. And I think the best way that I had it described to me is everybody knows what a result, revolving door is. And what that is is when you go to those really fancy hotels and you walk around the door and it's just going around and around and you're walking in and out and it can fluctuate. Mm -hmm. Same thing is with your revolving credit. It can fluctuate the amount that you owe and you borrow as opposed to um, having a mortgage or a car loan. Those are installment credits. And that just means that it's a fixed amount. My car costs a certain amount. My home is going to cost a certain amount. So I just need to pay towards that amount out of fixed interest. What Rent Reporters falls under is we're actually an installment account. And we're a little bit, we're a different type of account than maybe a car or a mortgage. And that's because these have applied interest rates. There is no interest rate on the service that you're getting with us. It's just our service for you that you pay on your monthly basis. And you would look back for your history. All right, gang, we do have another question that just came through. Great. And the question is, how long does it take for rent reporters to report rent? About two weeks. So the main aspect that I think us customer service specialists can stress with our audience is please get your landlord on board with our program. After you sign up, call them right away. Or when you're giving them that first monthly payment, tell them, hey, I need your help in building my credit. I signed up with Rent Reporters, and they are going to reach out to you. I authorize you to release my information. We realize for landlords, they may be hesitant to release your rental information to us without knowing who we are. So we need your help to be that middleman. Introduce, hey, this is Rent Reporters. My customer service specialist is going to reach out to you and ask you a couple questions. Please respond to them in a timely manner. Also, set up proper, um, proper um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, guidelines for them, knowing that we will contact them on a monthly basis so that we can continue to report for you online. The quicker that your mm -hmm. landlord responds to us, the, fastest we can, the faster we can report for you. So it can be as fast up to a week, but on average we see between two to three weeks depending on when we can get in contact with your landlord. And uh, please tell your landlord that in order for you to receive our service, you have to pay your rent on time. It helps both parties here. It's very beneficial for the landlord and the tenant. I have to pay my rent to receive the service. That means I have to pay you on time. Any other questions coming really, in? Really great questions. Um, not since that one. Okay. Still standing by. Great. Well, we'll just wait patiently. 
Uh, well, there's some stuff right now. I'm going to wait for some questions to come in. Is any, do you see something coming in? No? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's raining here in Los Angeles today. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very rare nice. to rain here. And the odd thing is, it was actually like 70 degrees yesterday. It's beautiful. And then today it's not quite. Sure someone's got to be at one to ask something you know if you're out there ask questions don't be afraid and you've done such a We're great job help. at covering all the, you know the different topics today thank you thank you subject here so <clears throat> well i gotta tell you though i think some i think a question is coming but if not okay well let's see what else what else can we really cover here i mean i want to make sure yeah. we cover everything for everyone Mm, I think we pretty much covered everything. Okay. So we're going to actually end the segment on our okay. first Facebook Live, which was how to establish good credit. We really hope that we were able to give you some tips and tricks on how to establish good credit. What are some of the big components of credit that isn't really quite understood? So if we help reach your goals, please like this video, share it on Facebook, use the hashtag boost credit, and know that we'll be having these weekly sessions on Friday at 10 a.m. So make sure to tune in next week and tell a friend. Share Rep Reporter. The great thing is if it, we've impacted your life in any way, tell a friend. Help somebody else out. Share Rep Reporters with them. And now we'll see you next week for our topic on, um, our topic is interest rates. <laughs> interest rates and their role in your life. So we do have one last question, okay. guys. Question. One last question up, and it's how many points can our credit score increase by? Okay, Ooh, that's a good question. So that varies with each individual. Um, you know, I've seen people's scores improve 600 points from zero to 600. I've seen some improve 30 to 40 points. It really all depends on each individual's credit situation, what they have on their report. If they if they have a lot of negative marks, uh, we might not see quite a significant impact. If they have little to no marks we might see a larger impact, but it just depends on each individual's uh, credit history. If you have any questions before you sign up, uh, feel free to call us, email us, or chat us so we can discuss your credit situation, give you some answers, give you some more, uh, more information on how it will impact your credit. Uh, but what I suggest first is, uh, you know, if you have any questions, contact us. We can let you know what, what will happen, but it all varies with each individual and what kind of credit they have. Um, we, I can't give you an exact score, but it just varies with each individual. Yeah, and just the different credit factors. Everybody's score is going to increase at their own unique rate, taking into consideration all of these factors. We cannot say for one person that it's going to increase 300 points, although we would love that to be the exact number. We still have to take into in consideration your length of credit, your account mixture, your inquiries. All of these factors play a role. And we're a big mix of that role. Like we said, the 35% and the 15%. And if you don't see the score that you were maybe hoping for, don't worry. We're going to continue to report for you on a monthly basis. Even if you don't see that initial boost that you wanted to that 300, remember, we're going to report for you on a monthly basis to TransUnion. So over time, you're going to see that score continue to increase. It is very common for everyone's score to increase gradually, uh, but you just have to continue paying your rent. Let us continue reporting your rent. And uh, yeah, that's basically how it is. All right. All right, everybody. See Thanks. you next week. Thank, Thank you very you. much, guys. Bye-bye.